all new for 2022 this Honda Civic is completely redesigned so the natural thing to do is well compare it to Honda's other sedan which is the 2022 Honda Accord that is coming up on a redesign for 2023 so let's see which one is the better option for you and which one you should choose if you're shopping for a Honda sedan um, do you want to go with the Honda Civic that is more sporty but a little more compact or do you want to go with the more luxurious more spacious Honda Accord let's get this video started right now and let's find out which one is better for you all right let's start off with the front end designs because you know a lot of the times when folks are making a decision on which car to buy you know it, they're going to go with the one that's more aesthetically pleasing to them and which one they like the best so let's start off with the front end designs and kind of go over um, what those all entitle for each vehicle so let's start with the honda accord here for 2022 so silver chrome um, finish that goes all the way across the grill here on the top all the way to the other side that leads right on down to the honda logo here in the middle and then you also have three Three slots there um, in the grill section that has silver chrome finishes on those as well of course the license plate bracket right in the middle there and then down towards the bottom here you'll actually see there's a little uh, brown or black plastic box down there and that's actually for some of your safety features here because this one does have four collision warning um, adaptive cruise control and uh, those lane departure um, warnings as well going on to the headlight design here you have a full LED headlight design with an LED daytime running light you also do have front sensors here on this Honda Accord EXL. Uh, I only do have a Honda Accord EXL. I would like to compare Honda Accord Sport versus uh, Civic Sport, uh, but I, I don't have that inventory at my dealership. So um, I have an EXL Accord versus the Sport Accord or Sport Civic. And so some of these you know, features you will um, get on the Accord. The Accord is a little more expensive as well. Uh, but let's use this example here. Front sensors here on this Honda Accord. That is not an option there on that Civic, even if you go up to the Civic uh, Touring which is that top and trim there coming on down a little bit further you do have fog lights here on this exl trim level um, and overall it is a very clean design here on the honda Accord. they've had this design since about 2017 2018 um, and it's just a really clean design very nice they've kind of uh, you know refreshed it here and there uh, but for 2023 i imagine you're going to see a, a design somewhat similar to the uh, the civic there there's going to be obviously differences but it's going to be more fresh like the the new civic uh, coming on up nice uh, hood that kind of goes in an angle there so it's a little bit easier to see in front of the vehicle and then a sloped uh, windshield here with the uh, triangle at the top there that actually um, houses some of your radar sensors as well that uh, work with the little box down there at the bottom to give you all those safety features so again clean design here on the Honda Accord let's go over to the Honda Civic so this is all new for 2022 a complete redesign here um, you have that kind of more of a curved flat uh, you know windshield there it kind of has a, a little slope in the windshield um, that gives a nice little like, sporty again box uh, or a little triangle at the top of the windshield just like in the Honda Accord for those safety features like a lane departure warning and uh, the Ford collision avoidance assist there um, with a hood that goes down just like in a slant just like in the Honda Accord um, you do have LED headlights here with your LED daytime running light here as well. Coming on down to the bottom there, you do have your little housing down here um, for the fog lights here in this sport trim level. And then coming over to the middle, you do have this nice, uh, you know, big Honda logo. You don't have a chrome finish here on the uh, Sport Accord because chrome is more like a luxurious, a luxurious feel. You know, with the uh, Civic there, they went with more of like a, a black tone on everything for the sporty feel of the vehicle. License plate bracket. In the middle and then a plastic black finish there on the grill and the bottom portions there let me know which one you like better um, on the front end design here uh, for my personal taste i do like the more luxurious look of the uh, honda accord and i'm pretty interested to see what they do for 2023 uh, but for 2022 this honda civic is really good looking as well and you really can't go wrong with either one but let me know in the comment section below which one you think is the better design and let's go to the trunk area and actually before we do that let's look under this hood so that we don't have to come all the way back up to the front um, but let's look under these hoods here on both of these vehicles to see what they have underneath the uh, the hood let's go look at the beans 
All right, so welcome underneath the hood. This is the uh, 2022 Honda Accord. Now, in this 1.5 or this uh, EXL, I gave it away already. In this EXL, there is one engine option. It is this 1.5 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine that is hooked up to a continuously variable transmission. You do get 33 miles of combined fuel economy, and this engine actually produces 192 horsepower in this application. Now, if you get the Honda Accord, there is another engine option you can get a 2.0 turbo four-cylinder engine um, in the uh, Accord Sport um, there is an option there and in the Accord Touring uh, both of those do come with the option of getting the 2.0 the all, every trim level comes um, standard besides that Touring with the 1.5 liter engine that you see underneath this hood uh, very good powerful engine that gets you up and down the road but it's also fuel efficient at 33 miles per gallon come Combined. Let's go over to that Honda Civic now. Okay, so just like in the Honda Accord, you do have two engine options in the uh, Honda Civic, um, and they are both actually a 1.5 liter and a 2.0, but the 2.0 is a little different application. So in this Honda Accord Sport, you have the standard 2.0 naturally aspirated four cylinder engine that makes 158 horsepower. You are hooked up to a continuously variable transmission in this application, and you do get a drum roll for fuel economy, 33 miles a gallon, miles per gallon combined just like in that Honda Accord. Now if you want the most fuel efficient option it is actually upgrading to the either the EX trim level or that Touring trim level where you'll get the 1.5 liter turbocharged engine that you do find in that Honda Accord but you do get that 1.5 liter turbocharged engine option and the EX and the Touring they're both standard on those trims um, and you get 34 miles per gallon combined in this Honda Civic so fuel economies are they're basically neck and neck there because uh, the aerodynamics of that Accord are very good just like in this Honda Civic so you don't lose that much um, in fuel economy if you go to the Honda Accord engine you know spec to spec um, the 1.5 liter makes 33 miles a gallon and the Honda Honda Accord and it makes 34 here in this uh, Honda Civic there. On the uh, the Honda Civic LX and the Sport you do get this 2.0 liter uh, four-cylinder and that's the only option and then you have to go up to the EX or the Touring to get that 1.5 liter engine option. Let's go to the trunk now. All right so Here's the, the backs of both of these vehicles. Now this is where you get a little bit of a difference between the Honda Civic and the Honda Accord. The Honda Accord is longer, um, it is a hair bit wider, and um, it just overall has more space inside the Honda Accord in the cargo area and the rear seats. Um, and just overall feel inside the vehicle, you are a little bit more spacious in this Honda Accord. Now, not saying this Honda Civic is not spacious. It is very spacious. You do have a decent chunk of cargo space in the back here, which we'll go over in a second. And you do have a, a good, uh, decent chunk of uh, leg room in the second row. So it's just a little difference. If you need the maximum amount of cargo space and the maximum amount of leg room, Honda Accord is your way to go. Um, if you're cool with you know a little less cargo space and like I said, a little more sportiness, Honda Civic's your way to go and save a little bit of money. So let's look at the, the rear designs of both these vehicles. On the Honda Civic, all new again for 2022. You'll see a sport spelled out here in the back. You do have these LED uh, back lights or brake lights there. You also have your turn signals and your reverse lights right down there. A little reflector here on the bottom. You also have one single exhaust out the back there for that 2.0 liter uh, four cylinder. Honda logo in the middle, a backup camera, and then the gray um, color here that's uh, the meteorite gray color here on this sport trim level. And then it goes all down, uh, very nice body colored paint all the way down to the bottom of the vehicle. You do have a nice shark fin antenna on the top there and a third brake light right there. Coming on over to the Honda Accord again, shark fin antenna on the top there, third brake light. This is the modern steel color here that Honda's had for quite a few years. Very good color, nice gray. Um, coming on down, you do have a cord spelled out here in the back. You have your LED brake lights there, uh, halogen reverse lights and turn signals right there as well, a little reflector. You also do have sensors here on the back there, so once you get close to something and a beep at you saying, hey, you're getting close to something um, on top of the backup camera. Coming over to the middle, you have the Honda logo, backup camera right there in the middle. And again, body colored all the way down to the bottom. Now, on the Honda Accord, you do have these little faux exhaust tips uh, 
um, they're, they really don't even look like exhaust, but they, they kind of get that feel um, of an exhaust tip on the back there, but the little silver finish on the bottom. I do like the real look of that exhaust tip um, on the Honda Accord Sport. Let's pop these trunks open real quick. So both of them have a little button on the back here that you can pop open. Um, right here from the back. You don't have to go up to the front and that kind of stuff there. So overall, you're going to see that there's more space in this Honda Accord, like I just said, um, and, it, and it's really a decent chunk there. Um, cubic feet wise, um, I'll put that little spec down in the video now, um, but you can kind of really tell where the, the difference is here. So um, on the Honda Accord, you have this felt lining in here, plus on the underneath there, you do have your spare tire and you have your jack system and everything right there as well. You also have the little a passageway through with these little grab handles that you can pull and put something longer and the, the seats uh, do fold down from the second row. Coming over to the Honda Civic, um, you do have a little less space, but again, still plenty of space. Uh, you have underneath there, you do have your spare tire setup and you do have the setup for the seats where you can put those down uh, by just grabbing this handle right over here um, on the left hand side. So again, both are very spacious, very, both are very comfortable, very nice, uh, but the Honda Accord does give you a little more in the space aspect of that. Let's go to the second rows where some folks may be sitting in the back seat there with you. All right, so window sticker here on this Honda Civic Sport here. So you're gonna have a 2.0 liter four cylinder Sport Edition here. Uh, 33 miles per gallon combined, that equals out to 30 in the city, 37 on the highway. Um, and you have a five star crash safety rating and this vehicle is final assembled in Alliston, Ontario, Canada there. Um, on the MSRP front on this vehicle, the MSRP on this vehicle is $25,045. Let's pop this door on the back there open. Oh no! Gotta unlock it with the key. <laughs> key, there it is. All right, so popping open the, the back door there. You're gonna have some black felt on the back there. Uh, nicely pad armrest, a little chrome door handle here, power windows um, on the back there and a little speaker as well. Coming on the inside, you have a half leather, half cloth finish here. Let's jump in the inside here. I am 5'9", and um, you know, sitting here, my seat is where I would put it if I was driving. And uh, overall, I have about a, a half a foot here of space still, and I can really get comfortable in the back seat here. Headroom is good. I have about six inches of headroom. Um, in the vehicle as well. Um, one thing I am missing back here is I don't have any USB chargers and I don't have any um, air vents back here as well. Hot day like today, those would be nice. Um, so, you know, overall, again, very spacious. Let's jump over to that Honda Accord now. All right, so window sticker here on this 2022 Honda Accord EXL. 33 miles a gallon here on this 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. That breaks down to 30 in the city, 38 on the highway, um, which is actually one more than the Honda Civic on the highway, the 37 on the Honda Civic, 38 here. Um, five star sa crash safety rating here on this vehicle. Um, this vehicle is final assembled in Marysville, Ohio, right here in the US of A. And the uh, final MSRP price um, is $33,935. So quite a bit more expensive than a Honda Civic Sport. But again, if I were comparing apples to apples, a Civic or an Accord Sport um, would be a, a decent chunk less, quite a few thousand dollars uh, less than, um, than this one here. Uh, still a little more expensive than the Honda Civic, but you know, it'd be a lot more closely competitive. So uh, you're looking at probably closer to $30,000 on the Civic or the Accord Sport, keep getting the names mixed up, $30,000 on the Accord Sport uh, versus the $25,000-ish dollar uh, Civic Sport there. Let's pop open the back door here and jump in here. But before we do that, let's get this door panel. Uh, nice faux wood here on the back there. Leather finish here on the door panel, power windows, uh, door lock there or door handle there. A little storage area down there as well on the bottom. Leather seating surfaces here on this EXL trim level. If you got the Sport, you would still have that faux, like the half leatherette, half cloth finish, uh, just like in the Civic Sport there. Uh, but here's the deal. So this seat is uh, is actually pushed a little bit further back than I would if I were to actually drive it. I would actually move this up. But even if that's the case, again, 5'9", I have now about a foot of space um, in this Honda Accord, little pocket back there. And guess what I do have back here as well? Two air vents, which is nice, and two fast charging USB-A ports. 
Uh, please Honda on the redesign put USB C's back here because well a lot of folks are getting USB C's now uh, But again leather seating surfaces plenty of headroom in the back here of the Honda Accord Both are very comfortable uh, But the Honda Accord does take it to that next level on comfort and just luxurious feel in the back Let's go up to the fronts of both of these vehicles now. All right, so let's walk up to the door here so you have uh you have the keyless access here on both the vehicles there, which is very nice. Coming over to the door panel on this Honda Accord, you have that faux wood here, plus you have the uh, little satin or the, the chrome finish here on the door handle. You do have two-way memory seating surfaces here on this EXL, and you have your power windows, power locks, power mirror options right there. Little trunk release button down there at the bottom, and then a little cup holder area right there as well. Little grab handle, softly padded armrest as well. Coming on over to the inside here, you do have some of your uh, sensors here on the bottom there with your uh, safety controls, uh, leather wrapped steering wheel here on this uh, this model as well, uh, on the Accord, leather seating surfaces here that are heated as well, and you do have a power seat option here with four-way lumbar. Over in the middle there, you do have this nice touch screen here that is Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, air vents. You do also have a wireless charging pad down there with uh, two USB ports um, as well and a little 12 volt. You have your shifter down there. You have a cup holder, uh, electronic parking brake, and a nicely padded uh, center console there that uh, opens up and gives you a little bit of space down there as well. So Honda Accord, just overall very spacious, very luxurious feeling. Um, and just very comfortable, which is nice to have in this mid-size sedan. Let's go over to the Civic Sport. All right, so Civic Sport. Now, here's the thing again, keyless entry. Uh, I can open the door right up, pop it open. Now, you're gonna feel a little bit more costly or cost-effective inside the Civic. So you don't have that faux wood. You instead have this like black plastic trim. You do also have um, the cloth finish here on the door panel. Power windows, power lock options right down there. Nice uh, chrome door handle here as well. Nice uh, big chrome door handle, very comfortable in the hand. Trunk release right down there as well. And then a, two, or a cup holder down there. A little storage area with a speaker as well. Coming on over to the seat, you have that faux um, leatherette finish and uh, claw finish in the middle. Good looking design on the seat there. Manually adjusting seats here on this trim. And uh, coming over, you have this gloss black with this pretty cool speaker design, which is starting to come out on a lot of these. The redesigned HRV had these, and uh, the new release photos of the new uh, CRV um, shows that they're going to have very similar designs as this uh, Civic does. Um, leather finish on the uh, uh, steering wheel here. You do have uh, some of your safety controls and everything on that steering wheel. Coming on over, you do have this nice touch screen here um, that is Apple CarPlay Android Auto. Nice design here on the um, air vents as well. You do have climate control here in this one. Down a little bit further, you have a uh, little storage area down there. And uh, you do have some uh, some USB ports. I apologize, my camera's not adjusting <laughs> inside here. Uh, but uh, you know, just a little storage nooks there. Pretty cool design here on uh, this uh, you know area right here next to the shifter. It's got this kind of grainy finish on it. Pretty cool. Um, shifter right there, electronic parking brake, two cup holders, and then a nicely padded armrest that is claw finish uh, versus that leather. And uh, inside here you do have a storage area that's just a hair a bit smaller um, than in the uh, Honda Court. Again, Honda Civic's very nice. It's just a matter of do you want the uh, more space of the, that the Honda Accord gives you? Um, and do you want to pay the more money that the uh, Honda Accord forces you to pay? So let me know in the comment section below. Let's finish this video up now. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this uh, comparison versus video of these uh, Honda Civic uh, 2022 versus the Honda Accord 2022. Let me know in the comment section below which one you would choose if it were for you there. Um, the Honda Accord, again, is a little more luxurious, a little more spacious, um, but it also comes with a bigger price tag. Uh, and then the Honda Civic, fantastic option, very fuel efficient. Um, it has a you know, little bit of sportiness in there and it saves you quite a few thousand dollars. So let me know which one you would choose for your personal needs there. And uh, also let me know in the comment section which one uh, you think is the better option. I'd like to know. Um, and also if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section below as well. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. But before I do that, don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. It would help me out so much. Thank you all so much for watching my video, and I will see you this time in the next video.